Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said that Global Affairs Canada would be looking into allegations that Azerbaijan forces are using Turkish-made Bayraktar TB2 drones, equipped with Canadian-made L3 Harris Westcam target acquisition sensors. Bombardier Recreation Products also said it had suspended the delivery of aircraft engines to countries of unclear use after reports that they were used in Turkish combat drones deployed by Azerbaijan in fighting against Armenian forces in Nagorno-Karabakh. In line with Canada's robust export control regime and due to the ongoing hostilities, I have suspended the relevant export permits to Turkey so as to allow time to further assess the situation," Champagne said. Canada's top diplomat again called for an immediate halt to hostilities in the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region and urged the warring sides to come to the negotiating table. In the meantime, Ottawa will probe whether Canadian-made equipment is being used by Turkey to commit human rights violations, a breach of Canada's contractual terms when selling military equipment abroad. Canada suspended the issuance of new military equipment export permits to Turkey last year as well, citing violations committed during its military campaign in northeastern Syria, according to the 2019 Exports of Military Goods report. The report made no mention of sales to Azerbaijan, which some experts have said suggests similar sanctions against Baku. Armenian officials have accused Turkey of injecting itself into the conflict. An Armenian Defense Ministry spokesman alleged that Azerbaijan had transferred air control of the offensive operation against Karabakh to the Turkish Air Force. Yerevan has also claimed that Ankara has deployed mercenaries from Syria to fight alongside Azerbaijani troops in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. On the other hand, Turkey's Tusas Engine Industries, subsidiary of Turkish Aerospace Industries, has produced a new engine to power locally made drones such as the Bayraktar TB2 and Akinci. Selçuk Bayraktar, Baker's chief technology officer, shared a video of the engine's tests held last month. It is not a prototype but a mass production engine. The new Tay engine has the highest performance figures in its class globally, he said.